wonderful boys and girls. Happy Sunday. Welcome to church. I'm so glad to see you in church today. Do you know what today is? Today is Father's Day. You want to say happy Father's Day to your daddy? Wow, it's Father's Day today. You can do something nice to, for your daddy, like a gift. You can make an handmade card. You can make something that daddy, you can present to daddy and daddy would appreciate. That's awesome, okay? Remember to appreciate daddy. They are wonderful daddies, right? God bless you. Let us pray. Father, we thank you today. We give you glory, honor, and adoration. We bless and adore you because we've come to learn about your word. We've come to learn about you, oh God. Even as we have come today, Father, give us the grace to learn and be doers of your word. Help us to be wonderful children all the days of our lives. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. And the children say a big Amen. You need to scream it out loud. And the children say, Amen. God bless you. Do you know what we've been learning? Wow. We've been learning about, who can tell me? Oh, there are a lot of things we've been learning this month. First Sunday, second Sunday, and today is the third Sunday. We want to learn about the king that is named Saul. Remember, we've been learning of how the people of the Israelites and they were saying, oh, we need a king. We need a king. And God gave them a king. Who can remember the name of the king? If you know it, shout it out. Yes, you got it. If you said Saul, King Saul. Remember, King Saul has been the king the first king of Israel. And you know what we want to learn about him today? He's been a good king, but today we want to learn how Saul sinned and was rejected. Do you want to say with me? The topic of today is Saul sinned and was rejected. Did you hear that? Saul sinned and was rejected. Wow, I know you'll be wondering, why did King Saul sin? Remember, God does not like sin because sin separates us from God. So what happened? Do you think King Saul is separated from God because he sinned? All of this we're going to learn in our study of the Bible today and in our Sunday school lesson. Okay, and before we go into the topic, we want to dance. We want to praise God. We want to give Him our best step. Remember to put on your dancing shoes. The first song says, get up and dance. Are you sitting down? You need to stand up, get up and dance. And the second song says, God's love is so wonderful. God's love is so wonderful. That's why He sent Jesus Christ to die for our sins so we will not be separated from God we don't want to be separated from God right okay so remember to stand up on your feet let's give God our best steps and we get to learn about the words for today God bless you as you dance <laughs>
Hey, let's say a little prayer before we start our day. Let us thank God for the lovely things He has given us. again for all that he has given us. Welcome back. Thank you for dancing and giving God your best step. God will be so happy with you for dancing and praising Him. Thank you so much. Today, our Bible text will be taken from the book of 1 Samuel. 1 Samuel is in the Old Testament. So if you don't know it, you can ask mommy or you can ask daddy. 1 Samuel chapter 15, verse 24 to 26. 1 Samuel chapter 15, verse 24 to 26. Then Saul said to Samuel, I have sinned. I have violated the Lord's command and your instructions. I was afraid of the men and so I gave in to them. Verse 25 says, Now I beg you, forgive my sin and come back with me so that I may worship the Lord. And verse 26 says, But Samuel said to him, I will not go back with you. You have rejected the word of the Lord and the Lord has rejected you as king over Israel. Wow, that's so sad. Do you know why God rejected um, King Saul? Because he did not obey the instruction and the commandment that were given to him. Wow, and what happened? God rejected him as the king. Are you thinking, have you done something that is not right? You need to ask God for forgiveness so God can bring us back into the old household of faith, into uh, his um, own family and will be called the children of God again. Okay, our memory verse is taken for, from 1 Samuel chapter 15, verse 26. 1 Samuel chapter 15, verse 26. And it says, but Samuel said to him, I will not go back with you. You have rejected the word of the Lord and the Lord has rejected you as king over Israel. One of our friends will be helping us with the memory verse. And remember, try to say the memory verse too because you can do it and I know you can do it, okay? 
the summer of 1826, but someone said to him, I will not go with you because you have rejected the Lord of love, and the Lord has rejected you as king over Egypt. Well, thank you, friend, for helping us with that memory verse. We really do appreciate you. God bless you for taking our time to memorize it. You're such a wonderful friend. We really appreciate you. God bless you. Okay, let us get right into the topic. Who can remember the topic? Can you remember? What does it say? I'm waiting for you to say it. Saul sinned and was rejected. Yes, you got it. Saul sinned and was rejected. You know what? It is very important for us to obey God. Whenever God has given us instruction, whatever God has told us to do in the word of God, it is better for us to follow and do the right thing. Remember, we are children of God and we want to build our relationship with God because God does not like sin. Do you know why God doesn't like sin? God is holy and he wants us to be holy like him. So we don't want to sin. We don't want him to reject us like the way he rejected King Saul, right? We are good children. We follow instructions. We follow what is in the Bible. Okay, let us sit down quietly and let us listen to our video today. We want to watch that video. It's going to teach us a lot of things, a lot of examples that we can learn from. So remember, sit down quietly, tell your friends, tell your brother, tell your sister, tell mommy and daddy. Teacher said I should listen to the video because she's going to ask questions, right? Okay, let's sit down and let us watch. And when we come back, we get to discuss what we watched in the video. God bless you as you watch and you listen quietly, okay? Thank you. Hey kids, have you ever been asked to do something and then only kind of did it? Like maybe you were told to do your laundry and then instead of folding them, you would just cram them into your dresser. Maybe you were told to take out the trash and instead of taking it to the big bin outside, you just threw it out the back door. Well in today's lesson, we're gonna learn about a king who only kind of obeyed and had to pay a big price. God picked Saul to be Israel's first king if you remember in our last lesson, the Israelites demanded a king. So God gave them one, a guy named Saul. Saul was the tallest, most handsome guy in all of Israel, but he did not know a thing about how to rule a nation. King Saul obeyed God's command, kind of. Saul was doing a pretty good job at being king. But one day God gave him a command that he didn't quite obey. He sent Saul and his army to destroy an evil nation. He told them to destroy everything and not even keep one little lamb. But Saul didn't really listen. They destroyed the nation, but they brought back all the best animals back to Israel with them. God was not very happy with Saul. He had one job and he didn't even do it all the way. God rejected Saul as king. God told Samuel what Saul had done and he regretted ever making Saul king. So Samuel went to see Saul. He told Saul that he made a big mistake disobeying God. Saul told them that he was super sorry and that they only brought the animals back so they could sacrifice them to God. But that was just an excuse. God just wanted Saul to listen to him and obey. That meant doing everything God asked him to do, not just part. And even though Saul was super sorry, he proved that he wasn't fit to be king anymore. And that brings us to an important lesson that we can learn from this story. Fully obeying is better than kind of obeying. You see, it was a lot easier for Saul to do some of the things that God asked him to do. But really, what God wanted him to do was all that he asked him. Because in the end, it turned out a lot worse for Saul. Memory verse. Listen, obedience is better than sacrifice. See kids, sacrificing the animals would not make up for the fact that Saul disobeyed. So kids, 
That means when God, your parents, your teachers ask you to do something, you should fully obey. We shouldn't try to cut corners or only do part of what they ask. So the next time you're asked to do the laundry or take out the trash, don't just kind of obey. Remember the story of Saul and fully obey. Welcome back, wonderful boys and girls. Did you watch the video? Did you learn lessons from the video? Wow, do you know King Saul? The first thing he did that wasn't right, God told them that Samuel the prophet will be the one that will be giving offering, burnt offering to God. And you know what happened? Saul, when he took all of the people to the um, battlefield, what happened? They were very, very impatient. They wanted to sacrifice. They wanted to burn um, offering to God because they were losing the battle. So they wanted to win. And instead of King Saul to wait for um, Prophet Samuel, what happened? Because all the other men were very impatient. They were already leaving. And he said, okay, I can do it myself. Let me burn the offering to God. Was he supposed to do that? No, that's the job of the prophet. Remember, King Saul is a king, he's not a prophet. Prophet Samuel was supposed to burn the offering. And what happened? When Prophet Samuel came and said, you should have waited, you should have been patient. I was still on my way. And he said, God didn't like what you did. You shouldn't have disobeyed, you should have obeyed. And the second thing he did, who can remember the second thing he did? The other sin that King Saul committed. Okay, let's see what happened. When they went for the battle, King, um, King Saul was given an instruction. All the good things, burn all the good things, destroy all the things because those are not the, um, they are the enemies of the Israelites, right? And do you know what King Saul did and his men? They killed all the men, they fought the battle, they were victorious because those people were not nice to them. And they kept all those good, good things. The gold, the silver, the animals, they kept them. Did God tell him to do that? No. He didn't do that, he didn't listen for the second time. And when Prophet Samuel came, and he told him, God has told me all of these things that you have done. What did you do wrong? And he said, I didn't do anything wrong. Did he lie? Yes. Is it good to lie? No. And Prophet Samuel said, oh, what happened? God has told me you have kept all these good, good things that you're supposed to destroy. And he said, oh, yes, we kept it because we want to Run it and we want to give it as offering to the Lord. Did God tell him to do that? No. <gasps> so God was not happy with King Saul. God was very, very sad. He was not happy at all. And he said, wow, King Saul has sinned against me. And hence I have rejected him. And so Prophet Samuel came to give King Saul the news you are no more king God has appointed a new king can you imagine if you were a king and you lied and you sinned and God rejected you oh that's not a good thing that will make you sad right so that is why it's good I just want to let you know that you are kings you are princes you are princesses you are beautiful in the sight of God so God doesn't want us to do anything that is wrong. Remember, we have daddies in the house. Daddies help us to, and teach us to tell us what is right. So we need to follow. Remember, today is Father's Day. Our daddies in the house, our fathers in the house, they help us to teach and teach us the right things to do in the home. Even when we go out, even to school and church and other places, Daddy teaches us to do the right thing, like God also tells us in the Word of God to do the right thing. Will you do the right thing? I want you to echo the answer. Did you say yes? 
Yeah, I am glad. Teacher is so glad because I'm excited when I see children of God do the right thing. God bless you. Thank you for coming to church today. Our friend will be helping us with the memory verse again. Fourteen twenty-six. But Samuel said to him, I will not go with you because you have rejected the Lord of Lords and the Lord has rejected you as king over Israel. Thank you, friend, for helping us with the memory verse. We really do appreciate you. Thank you so much. God bless you. And you know what? Don't be in a hurry to go. We have a song that will help you to learn the memory verse. And we have coloring. Tell mommy and daddy to print it. It's in the link below. Tell mommy and daddy to print so you can color. You can see how God rejected King Saul. We will not be rejected in Jesus' name. Amen. Because I know we're good and we're wonderful children. Okay, let us pray. Everlasting Father, we thank you. We give you glory, honor, and adoration. Thank you for bringing us to church today. And thank you for teaching us that it's not good to sin, that you hate sin, and sin separates us from God. Father, we don't want to be separated from you. Help us, O oh God, to always do the right thing. Help us, O oh God, King of Glory, to be wonderful children. Help us to always listen and do what is right because we know it's not hard to do what's right. Help us, O oh God, and be, let us, O oh God, be good children and let us always serve you all the rest of our lives. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. And the children say a big amen. Remember, God loves you and I love you too. Have a blessed day and remember to give daddy that wonderful gift, okay? It can be hand card, handmade card, it can be handmade card, it can be anything really nice. Remember to appreciate daddy. God bless you and remember to tell daddy happy Father's Day. Have a blessed Sunday and have a wonderful week. I'll see you in church next week. God bless you. Be sure to fear the Lord and serve Him faithfully.